The holidays are fast approaching. Oh my god! As vegans, this can present some unique challenges. Some of our family may be more welcoming our veganism than others. Hello. Fortunately, I live abroad, so our holidays are pretty simple. What do you guys think? Should we eat some vegan mashed potatoes? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> In this video, I'm going to walk through a four-step process to help us navigate the holidays as a vegan. This video is not meant to have all the answers, but hopefully it's at least a start to help prevent the holidays from turning into a disaster. <laughs> the first step is to plan ahead and ask ourselves a few key questions. Are we happy being around people eating other animals and what comes from them? Do we want to discuss veganism on the day, or would we prefer not to? The goal is to try to prevent any surprises. Um, you know, when they... Once we have answers to questions such as these, the next step is to communicate it to our loved ones. For instance, we may like to invite them to a vegan meal, or if we do decide that we're okay with other animals and what comes from them being served on the day, perhaps a compromise can be reached. Their bodies could be kept in a separate room for serving, which may be one of the hardest things for us to look at. I think the key here is to clearly communicate how these things make us feel. If we're able to do this, there's a good chance our family will want to try to support us. Hopefully if we're nice to them, they'll want to be nice to us too. There's room for everyone on the nice list. This conversation may also be a good opportunity to let them know what we want for Christmas. We may want to suggest that they watch our favorite vegan documentary with us, or perhaps they could donate to our favorite vegan animal sanctuary in our name. If this conversation doesn't go as well as we hoped, we may need to make a few adjustments to our plan. Is that it? For instance, if we decide we're not comfortable being around people eating other animals and what comes from them, we may like to eat in advance and go for a walk when the others are eating. Then we can come back and spend time with our family after the meal. We may also choose to have a meal with local vegans instead. This is a choice that's personal to each and every one of us and only we have the answers. Hopefully with a bit of planning and communicating our feelings to our family, we can prevent any surprises on the day. Now the third step is to act on the day. Depending how long we've been vegan, there's a good chance one of the most challenging things will be communicating with our family. This may range from them simply asking about our veganism all the way to them mocking us. Some of our conversations may even feel like we're going in circles. Now we get to decide whether or not we choose to engage with them. If you don't want to, a simple thing could be to say, I think it's great that you're interested in veganism. Perhaps we could discuss this more later. If it's okay with you, I think it'd be better if we just focus on spending some quality time together. If they seem genuinely interested in veganism, you may also like to offer to send them videos or articles to help them explore things further. The whole idea here is to de-escalate things before they get worse. Clark, I think it's best if everyone just goes home before things get worse. Worse? How could they get any worse? Take a look around you, Ellen. We're at the threshold of hell! If you decide you're happy to talk about veganism, a great way to do this is to make it personal to you. You can do this by using I or we statements. For instance, if someone asks if you're vegan, you could say that when you looked into it, you realized that it was uh, completely unnecessary and you chose to stop supporting it. You can use I statements to help convey certain points too. For instance, you could say that I was shocked to learn what happens to male offspring when their mothers are used for their milk and their eggs. We or us statements are also a great way to help build common ground. For instance, saying we've been taught to believe that we need animal flesh for protein or milk from a cow for calcium. It wasn't until I looked into this further that I realized it wasn't true. 
If you're happy to keep the conversation going longer, a great way to do this is by asking questions. This can help shift the focus back to them and help them to come to their own conclusions. Some of my favorite questions are simply, have you considered veganism? Or do you think when we use other animals, we violate their rights? If they start trying to justify animal use, a great catch-all response is asking them, do you think that's a valid moral justification for violating the rights of others? It's also good to keep in mind that while we can be one of the biggest influencer family members, we can also be one of the worst people to talk to them about it. There may be a whole history there that will prevent us from having a productive dialogue. It may not matter at all what we say. As hard as it is to accept, our loved ones may not be open to the idea of respecting others' rights through veganism. <laughs> For instance, our parents may think that our veganism goes against the way that they raised us. One response I like to use for this is telling them that you taught me to respect others and my veganism is an extension of that. It's also important that we don't put too much pressure on ourselves. It's unlikely a single conversation is going to inspire our loved ones to live vegan. It may also be quite hard to keep our cool. King me. However, if we're able to keep our cool and clearly present our points, there's a good chance this will open the door for a future dialogue, and who knows, they may be open to veganism someday in the future. Alright, so hopefully we've made it through the day okay, and the fourth and final step is to reflect. How do you think the holidays went? Were you able to navigate them in a way you were comfortable with? Is there anything that you would do differently? You may also like to reach out to your loved ones and thank them for any support that they gave you. If there's any unfinished business, you may like to send them more information to help keep the conversation going and explore things a bit further. You may also like to check out my website, veganinteractions.com, that has loads of information for the vegan curious, such as videos that you can direct your family members to, as well as several resources to help with our communication. It's quite likely there's going to be an increased state of tension around the holidays. The idea is for us to try to find common ground with our loved ones so that we can work together. Nobody's leaving. Nobody's walking out on this fun old-fashioned family Christmas. No, no, we're all in this together. By planning ahead, communicating with others, acting on the day, and then reflecting, we have the opportunity to turn what could be a challenging time of the year into spending quality time with our loved ones and understanding veganism and each other better. If there's any specific strategies you found to work well, or perhaps some unique situations to your life, let's keep the conversation going. Let us know what you think in the comments so we can collaborate with each other and support one another. Come on, you know you have something good to add to this conversation. Also be sure to like my Facebook page for vegan awareness building content for sharing purposes, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more in-depth analysis such as this. Best of luck, try to have fun with all of this, and I hope you have a great holiday. Is Christmas even vegan? I mean it's about some dude forcing reindeer to pull him around in a sleigh. The shadowing on the wall behind me is awful. Rudolph, can you help us out? Thanks, that's better. Seriously, can I do these like more head on or how do you? Can I not record at night without like, I mean that shadowing is awful. Unless I make it brighter. Rudolph with your nose so bright. Oh, freaking heck. Oh, all I can see is the lights. This is definitely animal cruelty, but at least I'm consenting to it. Is that... I can't tell if I'm in focus or not. It seems like I'm in focus. Or if a compromise is reached. What is that light? Is that the TV or the camera? Oh, my battery. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to stop there. Alright, stopping there, switching the battery. Or if it is agreed. Depending how well this conversation goes, we may need to make a few adjustments. <clears throat> Alright, there should be bits in between there, but I'm sure I can get that all in one go. If we don't want to, a simple thing could be to say... If we don't want to, a thinkle thing... A thinkle thing? Thinkle thing? Thinkle thing? I don't think it's a word. We know it's going pear-shaped when I can't provide some... Provide? Pronounce. <laughs> oh, I freaking heck. 
You know what's going bad when I can't... I can't, <laughs> can't freaking talk today. <sighs> you know what's going bad when I can't pronounce the word simple. Is that still recording? <laughs> I thought it was a 12 minute limit before it flipped. But that's recording. God, I hope this doesn't get lost. There may be a whole history there. Oh shit, it's 4.30. 4.30, so I was hoping to catch the bus in 15 minutes. How much longer do I have? Alright, let, let's just keep going, but at a camper. I gotta get to the Hope and Ruin here in Brighton and get me a Christmas vegan burger. Because it's burger night. It may not... I'm really gonna have to get a more, better approach to this. If there are any open items, if there are any open discussion points, if there are any... If there are any open points, <clears throat> if there's any un if there's any unfinished business, you may like to send them more information to help keep the conversation going and explore things a bit further with them. Ah, that was perfect. My freaking phone fell. If there's any unfinished business, you may like to send them more information. Send them? S send, 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 spend, send them, send them, send them. <laughs> As well as several... This. Finish him. We, we have the opportunity to turn what can be a challenging time. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna need to figure out something better for that. Remind me to find a way to keep my phone from falling over. Reminder set. We have the opportunity to turn what. <laughs> Let us know what you think in the comments of this video so that we can. <laughs> so close yet so far. Come on, burgers, burgers. I got oh, I'm gonna miss that bus. I'm gonna have to get the next one, butter. Do you wanna miss out on the next video? I didn't think so. Be sure to hit that subscribe video. Subscribe video. I've said subscribe video before too, haven't I? It's so ridiculous. Do you wanna miss Do you wanna miss out on the next video? I didn't think so. Be sure to hit the Do you wanna miss out on the next video? I didn't think so. Be sure to hit it. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Woo! That was a proper recording session. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> what do you think, Chewie? Should we eat some vegan food? Yeah? Have a vegan holiday? Thanks for watching, and for more resources and support, check out veganinteractions.com, and check out Challenge 22 on Facebook for free support to get started with veganism.